This is Josh Mitchell, this is Auto Disruptor Digital Dealer Edition, and this is episode two. Hi, this is Josh Mitchell, and this is episode two, Auto Disruptor Digital Dealer exclusive. And thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Josh Mitchell. I am the business development director at Dan Cummins Chevrolet. And today, we're going to talk about the customer's experience. And it's a great subject to talk about because there's a lot on our minds right now as an industry is changing rapidly. Uh, but first, I want to tell you a little bit about me. I am the business development director here at Dan Cummins Chevrolet. I started in 2011. Uh, spent eight years in the mortgage banking industry and in 2011 we averaged about 150 units per month and in 2014 uh, we averaged about 6100 units and then in 2015 we sold 7500 units and now we're on the quest to sell 10,000 yes that's 10,000 units this year and uh, we didn't do this overnight this didn't happen overnight um, it was a grand old process to change how we uh, did everything that we did and when we made this change to make our customers experience better than any, any other um, we rapidly changed very quickly and a lot of people say price sells cars and yes price does sell cars there's no argument there but um, if you want to create this longevity in our business I think we really have to start thinking about our customers experience um, because anybody can price their cars cheaper than anybody and not make very much money um, and you can also only sell a few cars and make a bundle um, but to make your competition to be better than your competition your customers experience has to be on point and you know, we have a lot of dealerships, not going to name any, but the haggle free and this and that. And I think that, you know, a lot of them have gone down a little bit of this one price thing. And yes, it works to a certain extent, but I think you can be both. You can be a no haggle, you can be a little bit of uh, negotiations, but it's all about the customer's experience. That's what sets you apart from any other dealership out there is what experience that you provide for them now. Uh, for so long, we created this process that was our process let's be honest it was our process that we put customers through and we created this environment that customers didn't really like and we created our wonderful reputation of being sleazeballs and a lot of different things and so it's our fault that our customers don't like us but minor little changes um, we decided that we were going to get rid of our desk in our showroom and go to round tables. And the reason for that is you can actually sit with your customer, not at them. And it takes that barrier down from your customer. And so their experience, because you're working a deal with them and not at them, has become a lot better. We use a lot of technology with iPads, with our, um, obviously this little unit here, um, to make our customer feel at ease, to use things that they use to make them feel like they're part of something and building the value. And then it creates this experience for the customer that they go on Google, they go on Yelp. Yelp is really hard to get a review, but they go on these places and they give great reviews. And what we have found is that price is never really talked about in those reviews. It's all about their experience how you can make small little changes to tell your customer that you care and to build that value and not forcing them down this path, not forcing a car down their throat, not forcing. And when it's amazing to me in this industry that we continue this, I don't know what the interest rate is, you'll have to talk to finance. When you do things like that, your customers obviously know you're lying they obviously you, all of a sudden you seem shady even if you're not and so we have to provide information we provide information the customer feels at ease the customer has no reason to doubt you if we just continue down that 
and give people information, they're not going to question anything. They're going to feel like they're getting a good deal. They're going to feel like they're being taken care of. The days of making 10 grand on a customer, pretty much over. And you don't really want to do that anyways because what you do is you do not have a customer that can come back to you because they're so buried because you buried them that they can't come back to you and buy another car. And now you have to wait five and six years. And so when you do that, you're not really providing them with good service. You're just not. And so as an industry, we have to seriously talk about our customers' experience. We have to put processes in place to create this environment that a customer feels at ease. You know, we had an industry recently that got really disrupted, and that is the taxi business. Uber took over, Lyft took over, Uber more than Lyft, but Uber took over because guess what? It was all about the customer's experience. It made it easy because we can get our little car and we can get an upgrade on our car if we want to from our handy device, the thing that we hold dear to us. And now we have a whole industry that is changing because it's all about the customer. It's all about the customer now. And so us as an industry, we have to really seriously start looking at our dealerships. We have to start looking at our dealerships individually and say, we have to make customer service the forefront of what we're doing customer service and their experience. It's about them. If you make it about them, you'll sell more cars and you'll be more profitable and they'll come back to you and they'll send their family and their friends and they'll make you have good Google reviews and then you will look like the hero. And so in closing, I want to leave you with this. It's time to start thinking like a customer and not like a dealership. It's time to really change our processes as an industry and as dealerships to think about the customer's experience and the customer first. And then when we put those things in place, it's amazing how many people will come to us time and time again and send their family, their friends, their neighbors, everybody to us because they had an experience that they never had with a dealership. So thanks for joining me today. Um, look forward to episode three next week and um, follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, or you can also email me. Thank you guys.